Hi guys, in this episode of Ready K, I'm going to be reacting to Sorn's uh, official solo debut uh, because uh, she left COC and she left the company and she's now I think in like America so is this even K-pop? I don't know but I'm going to be checking out Sorn's solo song Sharp Objects and I'm curious to see what she's going to go with uh, in terms of the sound of the song because uh, the last solo song that she released was Run, and I honestly really, really liked that song, but it was definitely like a more soft, uh, it was a softer song, and with the name of the song, I'm assuming that this one is not gonna be that soft at all, and judging by uh, the pictures that I've seen from this music video, I'm expecting that it's gonna be much more in your face and hard, which is what I love, so I'm really, really hopeful that I'm gonna like it. So without further ado, let's get into the song and see how I'm gonna feel about it in 3, 2, 1. I'm assuming it's gonna be in English. Hey, she looks really good. She sounds really good so far. Although this one seems to be also pretty short, which is annoying. I really like this. Well, that was just a mannequin. Man, this definitely feels more of like an American song. Or at least with a very American inspiration than a K-pop song, which makes sense. Honestly, this seems like a low-budget music video, but for a low-budget music video, they've honestly done the best they probably could of him, I'll be Because it doesn't seem like particularly big. But they've made it work really well. Honestly, this is kind of better than I expected. Like, it's more sophisticated than I expected. I feel like the thing that this song reminds me of is a certain song by uh, an artist from my country, actually, which I don't think I've mentioned it before, but there's a certain singer called Dara, um, and uh, I'm not sure exactly for what she released this song, but she released a really cool song called Thunder, and it's an amazing song. It's the best song that my country has produced, straight up. So, I, I honestly definitely uh, w uh, want you to hear that song, so definitely go and check it out. Like, it's called Dara, uh, it's by Dara, and it's called Thunder. It's a really, really good song. And the vibes that I'm getting from this song by Sorn is very similar to the vibes that I'm getting from that song, where it's, like, very American music-inspired, and it's very soulful and dark and emotional and yeah like that's kind of the best way i can describe that vibe but it's very similar and i honestly really like that vibe about this i feel like the song 
could have been a little more polished up. But like I said, I still feel like it's better than I was expecting it was going to be. Um, although, I, I will say, I do feel like uh, uh, her song Run was a little bit more finished. It felt a little bit more fleshed out. Um, I still like this, like, I think it's a pretty good song with almost no flows, or honestly just nitpicks at best. Um, but I do feel like Run was a little more complete compared to this, even though both songs were not uh, full 3 minute songs, more like two and a half minutes or two and fifty um but yeah that one just felt a little bit more complete and professional i feel like that's maybe a bad word to use uh because both songs feel very professional but i just feel like for run i didn't feel like they could have done more with the song i don't feel like they could have written like another verse while for this one i do feel like that but yeah, it's still a really enjoyable song, and I really like the way Son looks in this, she looks amazing, and like I said for the music video, I think they've done the best they could have with, uh, uh, with the budget that they had for this, so, yeah, there's that. But still, uh, before I say my final thoughts about it, obviously we're gonna get into it one more time, so, let's go again into Son's Sharp Objects in 3, 2, 1. I also really like how she sounds. does not feel at all like a low budget music video. I'm really surprised by how how well they've done this. Like it's a really good music video. Like this is probably the best they could have done with what they had. the more I enjoy it because of how goddamn American it sounds like the inspiration is exactly for the kind of American music that I love because there isn't really like choreo in like like it there is for K-pop songs you know I guess this song also reminds me a little bit of uh, Somi's Anymore. Which I kind of completely forgot existed, even though I listened to it quite a lot <laughs> since reacting to it. Ultimately, pretty impressed with this. I actually really, really like it. Um, in terms of a rating, I think I'm gonna give it a 9.8 out of 10. Um, it's a 9.8 out of 10 and not a 10 out of 10 for two reasons. One, because I feel like they could have done um, like 20 seconds more, like really you could have made it a three minute song or three and a little bit above. Like, come on, you could have, you easily could. And the second thing is because I feel like there is something, a tiny little bit that could have been added to the song to make it like a 10 out of 10. It feels like a little tiny piece is missing, 
but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter it's still really enjoyable i really like it i just feel like there's something a little 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 bit uh that is missing it's like if you have a puzzle of like 100 pieces it's like the last two pieces missing which is not that uh, big of a deal at the end of the day so it doesn't bother me but it is kind of how i feel about this song but yeah i'm definitely gonna be listening to this song quite a lot i'm much more uh into it than i was worried that i was going to be because like i said because she uh cut ties with uh uh cube i didn't know what to expect in terms of uh budget for the music video in terms of quality of the song especially because i heard that whoever she signed with wasn't like a music label per se or something i don't know man i don't know i and i also don't really care i just care about the song being good and i'm glad that it is so yeah there's that this is pretty good i like it but yeah i am curious what do you guys think about this song so comment your thoughts down below and let's have a discussion about it and also before we end this video i just want to give a huge shout out to my currently three patrons on patreon omar bridgman deadpool and Sanchez. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me, have continued to support me for such a long time, hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give a like and subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer, and if you do enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account, where I can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!